Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Crossout. Back with the Shredder, the, 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 the car that we built last time. But I want to try something new today. Let's go ahead and open this one up. I got some new parts. Uh, the developers sent me a little booster pack. They gave me some new parts, they gave me some credits. So we're going to try and build something brand new today. In the form of a tank. I really want to try that again. And now that we have these different cabins, we actually have a little bit more power going to it. So hopefully we can do a little bit more. I also joined a faction. Actually, did I do it last time? I did it last time. So we are part of the lunatics now. Uh, we're only level one, so we don't have access to too many parts. Ooh, these all get locked level two. Okay, maybe we'll be able to do that today. That'd be pretty cool. But we're gonna start work on this big old mamma jamma with uh, quite a few of these. It's gonna be pretty big, so I think we're gonna need a decent amount. I mean, this cabin itself is awesome looking, but it is pretty massive. It's going to be similar to our cannon build uh, from a couple episodes ago, where we just used a 76mm cannon. Uh, it's kind of going to be based around that. Uh, but we're going to be doing some new things with machine guns, because we can have, we should be able to have two machine guns with this. So hopefully that'll help with our defensive capabilities. And we're also going to be strapping a lot more parts of this to try and make it really well armored. Alright, so that's the basic layout I'm going for right now. I want a really heavily armored front part, just so... Uh, whenever we are, are aiming down range at people, hopefully that should protect our wheels and hopefully our cabin and hopefully the actual cannon itself if we are able to shape uh, enough armor around it. Okay, I'm going to throw some of these fenders on just because these are really good for fitting above the wheels. I mean, that's the whole purpose of them, I guess. We also got a sick new paint job, so we're going to be throwing that on here. We got two new paints, right? We got a lightning pattern, which looks really cool, and um, aluminum. Sorry, aluminium. <laughs> Well, that looks real cool, so we're gonna do that. Eventually, when it's all built, I think will be a better time to actually paint it. Yeah, so this is what I'm working on now, just trying to encase the wheels a little bit. Because if we do lose those front wheels, it's gonna kind of limit our ability to aim. And another part we just got is the light engine. This can accelerate the engine to very high speed. Hmm, acceleration may be significantly increased. So I'm trying to figure out if that'll be worth putting in this, because it will make us quite a bit faster, but it does have its own energy drain, so... We don't really need to be fast right now. I mean, we're going to be a relatively long-range weapon. So we're just going to forego that for now. Uh, we're going to put two light machine guns on here. Thinking right there and there should be good. Uh, I'm wondering if I should raise them up a little bit, just so they'll be able to shoot behind me. That'll kind of make me a little bit more exposed, though. Oh, then we have these pipe shields that are really cool. So can I flip it? There we go. See, so we can just like put those along here. Just try and add a little bit more armor to our actual cab. Ooh, but I can fit these half barrels in there. That should help. There we are. And then I'm basically just gonna... So I think that that's the shape we're gonna do. Let's see. Is there anything I put on the front? We put the plow on the front. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, can I raise it up a little more? Uh, I just don't want to get in the way of this thing and its maneuverability. So if I, I do that... Now let's go and test drive that. I'm pretty sure that does low. Oh no, it doesn't seem to be. Let's see if there's a ch if there's a difference. So I take that, I remove that. Can I point any lower? No, it looks about the same. Okay, so we can have that bumper catch on the front. Cool. That should help protect it a little bit just from small arms fire. Uh, let's about, let's put the plow on there. I think that looks pretty cool. Where'd the plow go? There it is. Nope, that's the outer fender. Plow, 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 Mr. Plow. There we are. And then naturally we need these. I mean, they make us look pretty darn cool. What do these actually do? Do they do anything? <laughs> these are sort of, I think they call hell pipes. Increase reputation gain by 1%. Oh, okay. So they help you increase Russian, or increase uh, reputation grain. Sorry. I, I saw Russian down here when I just glanced at it. And for some reason I said the word Russian. You ever do that where you're trying to say something, but if you read a word, that word just randomly comes out? I don't know. All right, let's do some sweet ass paint jobs. All over this. Hopefully it'll make it look a little bit more uniform. And not as randomly thrown together. But I guess that really kind of defines this game. Randomly thrown together? Crap. Okay, get those undercarriage parts. Paint the guns. Oh, that van roof in there needs to be painted. There we go. Let's see, we have a little radar dish in there. Okay, let's do some parts as the aluminum. Maybe the cab. And those pipes. Ah, uh, no, I like them the other way. Alright, uh, let's test drive this, shall we? Okay, it handles pretty well. It's, it's a little slow, but it really should be okay. 
Okay, let's see how it fares against the Shredder. Machine guns do well. And fire. And fire. There we go. Let's see how it fares against itself. Fire. Yeah, so that cab is pretty exposed. But I, I want to keep it pretty low. Like, I don't want... Ah, the wheels are still pretty exposed. I just don't have many pieces that are great for armor right now. Maybe we could... Oops, I just punched my pop build there. Scratch my face. Uh, maybe there's something we could buy. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, there is something we can do. Um, no, oh no, it was it was engineers. Okay. Uh, manufacturing, okay. So we can build ourselves... No, that's not right. Is it? Yes. Okay. So there's kind of a case opening system here. Using scrap metal, you can craft these containers that cost 500 each. So let's go ahead and build some of these. Okay, and then you retrieve it. And then you build another one. So we currently have 500, so we can build five. So I'm gonna build some of these and then we're gonna open them on camera. Okay, right, and then we go over to our storage and they should be right there. So we're gonna open these bad boys up and see what we get. This is always, always very exciting. Come on. A brace? Oh. That's alright. <laughs> Increases reputation gain. Yeah, so there's a bunch of different stuff. There's weapons. There's some awesome looking weapons. There's paint. Really, some really cool stuff in there. I've got a few items out of them before. Oh, we almost got a speaker. That would have been awesome. Small wheel. Meh. But it was a steering wheel, so that's always helpful. Oh, did you see that big drill? Man, I don't really want that big drill. Come on, baby. Big money, big money. Headlight? Wow. I've already won a headlight <laughs> from doing this. Checker pattern would be cool. I want the big drill. Or the orange paint. Ah, could have gotten the black paint. These openings stink. And this is all stuff that I've gained in-game, so I actually haven't spent any money. Uh, you gain scrap just through gameplay. Winning, losing. Ooh, oh, I thought I was going to get the haze paint. All right. So yeah, this stuff you can eventually trade away. I'm going to browse the market because we do have 1,100 credits to spend. So I'm going to browse the market, see if there's anything we want. Ooh, medium machine gun. All right, check this out. I got a sight. Uh, let's see, where can we put that? That's probably not a great spot for it. Does it have to be, like, exposed? I'm assuming. Let's just, like, chuck it back here and see what happens. So let's test drive. So I just, oh, okay, yeah, it has to be exposed. That makes more sense. Okay, where, where can I put this? Uh, radar dish, you settle down for a second. So you just you just go over there for a second. Um, let's, let's see if I can raise this up, actually. There we go. Now we got the site propped up there. It's going to be quite a target for people, but... Let's see. Right, let's go ahead and stop. And... Oh, man. This is going to help a ton. Because those long-range shots I've really been having trouble with. And it's a limit. I can just stay zoomed in forever. That is so cool. Yeah, see, there's the inaccuracy when you're driving. Right, let's try and hit one of these guys. So, spawn him in. And... Oh, I took his wheel off. Reload, reload. Oh, no, dang it. Let's try that again. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Okay, I'm not leaving the target. So now that's a problem, because now that I'm zoomed in, I'm going to think I'm a lot closer. <laughs> All right, we were trying this out. All right, so our new adjusted power score is 3,115. That is the highest I've ever had it. Let's see, they've got some pretty high ones on their side. Some pretty low ones. Well, those are just bots, I guess. Alright, that guy's higher than me. Oh, actually, there's a couple of them that are higher than me. Alright, let's do it. I don't like it. I, want, I need some bigger, flatter pieces to protect the wheels. Maybe I need to get more van roofs or something. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna roll over here with these guys. We're gonna stick together as a team. And I think some of my pieces might be too low to the ground because they're kind of catching in these uneven terrain. So we may adjust that. Okay, let's roll up to this hill. And bust out the sights. Oh, we weren't we weren't sighted yet. Dang it! There we go. <laughs> oh, so that's fine. All right, there's some jerk up there. Oh, he he already took out my wheel protection. Right, let's finish off Sergey with these guys. See, so he's gonna get the final shot. Oh, dang it! Okay, let's bring up here. Okay, let's, let's come to a standstill. And dang it, he ran. All right, let's go chase him. Uh, here's plenty of guys for us to shoot at. Okay, just gotta go into position. And there we go. 
Uh, let's take out his ga guns. Ah, oh, right before I fired my cannon. Dang it. And... There we go. Good God. It's not even funny. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's insane how good this cannon is now that I actually have the sight. Oh, I was terrible at aiming without it. I'm excited to try it out on the long range maps though. This one's a little bit more close range. Look at that guy sitting up there. Hey, okay, we're gonna fall over here. And then try and take him out. Oh, looks like he's retreating. Oh, I'll help this guy capture, why not? Take up a position up here. This gives you a lot cooler uh, view of people's creations though. I like that. Victory! Technically I didn't get any kills, but I think I did a quite a bit of damage. We got a fuel barrel, some scrap, and some assistance stickers. Uh, I want to get to level 2 with the, uh, the lunatics or whatever, just so I can unlock those other cool parts. Alright, this map should be good for sniping, especially with our n sick new sight. So let's pop up on top of this hill and try and take some of them out. Okay, a couple of them are sitting up there trying to take some pot shots. Hey. Oh, nope, nope. Need, need to drop this drop a little bit more. Oh wait, there's one guy right there. Let's go after him. And... Nail him! 400 damage! Good God! Yeah, he's he's not going home to mama. Oh, blue's tire off. Okay. Uh, I came down to this gully to try and get a little bit more in the action, but there are quite a few of them in here. Okay, enemy destroyed. Uh, looks like they're going for a control point, so we're gonna give them chase. Actually, we'll help to take it, this guy out. No, I need to turn more. Turn more. Okay, stop and fire. Ah, oh, I wasn't completely stopped when I fired. Okay, and fire. There we go. Only 150, but... All right, they're capturing our base. We need to move up. That guy's almost dead. Don't you take out my sight, man. Okay, let's go ahead and stop here. And fire. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. There we go, he's down, and fire. Ah, oh, he stopped moving, you little stinker. Okay, and... No, they took out my sight. All right, we were able to get them, though. Okay, are they still over here? Okay, there's three of them left and four of us, so we're gonna move out. Uh, we should probably try and go capture the base. I feel naked without my sight. Oh, man. Oh, okay, I lost some machine guns, too. That's why I wasn't firing. Wait, right, let me turn, let me turn, let me turn, let me turn. I can hit him, I can hit him. Oh, you jerks! There's too many of us! Too many cooks in the kitchen! Too many cooks in the kitchen! <laughs> He's just rolling around. Ah, dang it! I wanna kill him, I wanna kill him. Dibs, 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 dibs! Ah! <laughs> oh, my ears are ringing. Oh, last guy's up there. Actually, there's two more of them left. Whatever. What? 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 Why did we... How do we... How do we just lose? Is it because... Oh, crap. I think the time ran out. And they technically took more time off of ours? Oh, that is bullshit. Come on. See, children, that's why capturing control points is very important. All right, let's come up here. And... Fire. Beautiful. If I took out a couple of his tires. And... Fire. Ooh. Okay, someone gave us a taste of our own medicine. How is this guy not dead? Three direct cannon shots, you kidding me? Oh, that missed him, crap. Come on. This is the same guy, right? I'm not crazy in thinking that. Okay, my cannon's done. Alright, this was uh, not a great start. I did a lot of damage, though. All right, run away, run away! Ah! <laughs> Just kill me, you goddamn coward. Just get it over with. Ooh, he's, what's he got up there? It's like a rocket or something. These guys sure are taking their time, aren't they? Finally, I'm dead. Jeez. <laughs> I'm being cheeky again. Oh, look at this little sneaky son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, there's two dudes coming in. Oh, but, oh, three dudes. You better run, dude. Oh, they're gonna get you, they're gonna get you. Yeah, never mind, they're just gonna run. Why would you engage? I literally don't think they saw you, but maybe they would have eventually left. Okay, he's screwed. Mr. Camo minivan in here. Oh, he's got two weapon radiators. Huh. Uh, I guess those effects do stack. Interesting. Oh, this is this is just sad to see. Oof. Man, then we have the last stand of the blue team over here. 
Oh, I guess there's not really a blue team since it changes depending on what team you're on, but last stand of my team. Ooh, they might actually get a kill. You're a, oh, no, here comes this guy to ruin their fun. They really need to focus on one person. All right, he looks a little mobilized. This guy's still moving around. This guy has three wheels, not bad. Looks like he's gonna go get in a scrap. You guys really should stick together. Well, there's only three left. It came to three before, that's not bad. Uh, he's got machine guns versus a cannon, but he can't move. Uh, his teammates really need to come help him out. And down he goes, all right. The last despot of my poor little team. <laughs> Someone just said, please win. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I don't understand this game. <laughs> We were better at capturing their base, I guess so. Oh, that's hilarious. You just need to last out long enough. That is fantastic. Alright, well that's probably going to be it for this episode of... I almost said Stardew Valley. No, this is probably the opposite of Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's cross out. There we go. <laughs> Alright guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.